Hey everyone, welcome to 5 Minute Friday, where I get to show you lots of cool things about Microsoft Teams, and today I'm going to talk about contextual search. When in Teams, you've likely noticed the search bar up on the top. We can see look for messages, files, and more, or you can do a slash and check out a list of different commands. Right away, I can see the last five things that I searched for, but if I want to look something up, I'm just going to begin typing. I'll type in a D, and the searching part begins automatically. Here are some contacts, some apps, some teams, channels, meetings, chat, and keyboard shortcuts. This is obviously really cool, but it's a lot of information. Let's say I want to search for the employee handbook. I could go to the employee resources team, then new employees, click on the files tab, and find that document there, but it's way easier to just type in handbook, for example. I can see the file right here. That was super fast and way easier. And if I try another one, let's say employee, on the left we can see messages, where I can filter by who it's from. We'll cancel that search and click here on type. This is where I can check everywhere, which it is now, look in specific chats, or in the channels. So when I search for employee, I can see it here within the channel, and I can also see it here within Twitter. This is looking for everything from everywhere, including apps, contacts, files, and conversations. Let's click here on more filters. And here I can filter by subject, select a date range, or here search within a team. You can refine the scope even more by looking in individual channels. Also find ones that are only at mention to you, or they have an attachment. Then you can filter or clear. And up here in the search bar, I'm going to type in slash find, and then press tab. Then I can refine the scope to look in a specific channel, a specific chat, or a specific meeting. Then I'm just going to type in my keyword, blog, and there it is. Let's go back and do an even more broad search. We'll search for employee, and before we saw the messages, and how to filter them, but we also have a people tab, which will surface your contacts, and even groups that you can see here. The last tab is files, and here I have tons of resources that have to do with the word employee, but I'm going to click here, and filter. To find the document I need. So if someone shared a file with you six months ago in a chat, the contextual search feature lets you find information faster. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more quick tips on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. If you'd like to see more in-depth videos or perhaps would like customized training on Microsoft 365 applications, please check out our website at www.knowledgewave.com. The KnowledgeWave Learning Site offers access to thousands of on-demand videos and trainings that are constantly updated to address all of the newest features that Microsoft has to offer. Visit our site or call us today to learn more.